Next up is uh, Don McNeil. There he is. I didn't see him this morning. Uh, Don's with Caterpillar Incorporated, and he's here going to represent uh, the Natural Infrastructure Initiative. I'll do the opposite this time. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you for the opportunity to speak to the group today. As Todd said, my name is Don McNeil. I work for Caterpillar based out of Decatur, Illinois. In addition to my responsibilities at Caterpillar, I also lead the Natural Infrastructure Initiative. And through this work, I've had the opportunity to collaborate with the Corps, ERDIC, as well as many other people in the room today. The Natural Infrastructure Initiative is a grouping of like-minded companies and NGOs that came together in 2017 to provide a collective national voice to promote and accelerate the advancement of natural infrastructure. NII is made up of the following member organizations. AECOM, Ron and Root, Caterpillar, Dawson and Associates, Ducks Unlimited, Great Lakes, Dredge and Dock, and the Nature Conservancy. Their partnership and significant work today is highly valued. Combined, our member organizations, their employees and volunteers are composed of more than 200,000 employees and volunteers. Collectively, we are all supportive of efficient, cost-effective, and environmentally responsible means to addressing our nature, our national infrastructure challenges. We're accomplishing this by increasing awareness, advocating for new tools and processes, and promoting demonstration projects in this space. Since NII was formed, we have maintained and delivered a strong working relationship with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and many other organizations, many of which are in the the terms of natural infrastructure, engineering with nature, or nature or nature-based features, I feel are akin to what sustainability was as a concept and a term probably 20 years ago. As an example, if you had just walked out on the street and asked a random person what they thought about sustainability in 1999, which happened to have been the same year that the very first Dow Jones Sustainability Index was produced, I think you would have gotten very much a deer in the headlights look and blank concept. So if we did the same thing today, I think you'd have a very different response. A better understanding, increased awareness, but what about for natural infrastructure? I suspect that that would be similar. But at the same time, I feel that we are now at a turning point for what natural infrastructure is and the future going forward. Awareness is certainly one of the initial challenges that all uh, all growth basis. But after awareness then comes consideration, analysis and tools, facts and data, returns on investment, and then finally comes replication and growth. The Atlas brings visibility to many of these fronts. Natural infrastructure will not always be the sole solution. However, combined with conventional built infrastructure and other natural systems, in many instances, more work with better or multiple outcomes and improved project costs as compared to traditional approaches can be achieved in solving the nation's challenges. <clears throat> we need to think about natural infrastructure as a complement, you know, which combined with built infrastructure can lead to more of a one plus one equals three type of a scenario. Natural infrastructure is an and, not an or in many cases. It's for these reasons that the members of the Natural Infrastructure Initiative are pleased and very excited to celebrate the launch of the Corps Atlas today. The Atlas demonstrates and brings awareness to many potential opportunities and solutions that natural infrastructure can provide. These include improving water quality and water security, helping to address CSO challenges in municipalities, mitigating costs and damages from storm and flood events, in addition, natural infrastructure is leading to efficiencies such as beneficial use of dredge materials and applications such as beach nourishment, marsh and wetland reconstruction, and engineered soil development. Hats off to Mr. Dalton, Dr. Bridges, and the entire Corps on a great step forward. We're very proud 
that several of the projects in the Atlas highlight are involved with Natural Infrastructure Initiative members, are associated with our people, our customers, and our solutions. We, the members of the Natural Infrastructure Initiative, invite the Corps to continue to work with us in 2019 and beyond as we pursue, pursue our priorities and ask for equal consideration for natural infrastructure and future projects, execution of the original 10 and now additional 10 WERDA 1122 pilot programs. It'll be a great, great demonstration of some of these concepts and the development and application of a rigorous process for both evaluating and monitoring the alternatives of natural infrastructure and what they provide. The Atlas is and will be a great tool to improve awareness and accelerate the journey, which NII will probably be behind and help the Corps and the nation continue to drive forward. Congratulations and thank you very much.